Yo, what is up guys? Hope Discoverers here, and I'm bringing you another story, and I'm sorry about the background gameplay. I decided to mix it up. I kind of ran out of uh, gold, so I don't have anything pre-recorded. So yeah, <laughs> fucking 2K. But today's story is about my first fight. Now, I use fight very sarcastically. I wouldn't really call it a fight. And I, I will tell you guys why. It's, I, I almost don't, didn't even want to talk about it because it's just fucking cringy. But if I sound weird, I kind of have a sore throat right now as I'm recording this, so don't hold that against me, please. And it's also like 1 a.m. and I'm tired as fuck. But yeah. So, all this story shit that I talk about from back in elementary school all happened around the same time. Uh, if you watched my video where I was talking about my least favorite teacher, it was happening the same time that, that was happening. The same time I was pushed in a cactus. All this shit happened around the same time. Because it was back when I was extremely fucking lonely. This was actually probably a tiny bit after, maybe the grade after, but I, I doubt it. But anyway, so it was like the second or third grade, and like I said a few seconds ago, I was a fucking loner. I, I remember I hung out with like three kids usually, and I don't know why, but I always had friends that were older or younger than me. Like, for example, the guy from that other story about getting pushed in a cactus was a lot older than me. These guys were on the flip side, and I think I think I was in the third grade, and they were like a grade or two below me. I think they were all second graders. So nothing too crazy, but I would, ha I would hang out with them. I don't remember how it started, why it started. I honestly think I just saw them roaming around the school one day and decided to follow them, and they accepted me. But yeah, we would hang out like on a daily basis after school, and I remember next to our school, there was like a bridge, and they had one of those Arroyo things where they always caution you not to go in them, but we were all fucking stupid. So we'd hang out there every day, and looking back at it, these people like majorly used me. I, I was too stupid to tell at the time, but you I can just tell that they were completely using me. And I, if I could go back, I, I don't even know. They were terrible people. They still are. I still know them. They're, some, they're just bad people. But we would hang out at the school often. They have this huge grass field where our school was. And we'd just hang out out there. And I remember one day, we were hanging out with these kids that we found. And we were playing football. And personally, I remember I was having fun, even though at the time I sucked at football. And shit between the other people I was hanging out with and the uh, other people that we were playing with legit seemed serious as fuck. Like, they seemed to be going at it after every play and shit. And I remember at one point it looked like these two were legit fighting. Like, it looked like they were... <laughs> throwing punches and shit and from my perspective my first thought is well oh fuck they're trying to beat each other up and I was friends with one of them so I'm like at the time me being the complete pussy that I was and still am I went up to the guy and I remember I just had a shot at his back and the way that I decided to punch him was like, it, I don't even know how you'd call it a punch. I honestly think that I like tapped him in the back or some shit, because that was not a punch. It was like really light, and I don't know why the fuck I punched him like that. And then immediately, this kid just turns the fuck around, and I just fucking ran. Like, I... I ran as far as my fat little body could fucking carry me. Legit, like, back then I was fat as fuck, and I just ran. 
and I remember, I look back, all the kids that were playing football were fucking chasing me. Even the ones that I thought I were friends with, that I was friends with, they were fucking chasing me. The kid I was trying to defend, he was fucking chasing me. That's like true betrayal right there. I was trying to defend this kid, but nope. They all start fucking chasing me. And I remember there was this alleyway, and I'd have to run down it or whatever, and my house was like a block or two away. So me being the genius that I am, instead of being a man and actually fighting, I just booked it. I went down the alleyway, and I just went full speed as far and fast as I could. I didn't even look behind me. I have no clue if they followed me. I, but I remember looking back right when I like was turning onto my street or whatever. They weren't there, so I, I was happy. And I just remember never hearing from those kids again. Like, I think the I ended up talking to him again when I was, like, earlier this year, probably, is the last time I've talked to him. <sighs> they were so fucking dumb. And, yeah. <laughs> it was kind of a short story, but I thought it was funny as hell, revisiting how much of a pussy I was back in the day. Well, I'm, I'm still a pussy. But I hope you guys have enjoyed, and hopefully I'll be putting out videos more. I went on vacation, and I didn't have anything prepared, so that's why there hasn't there's been a lack of videos lately. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video of whatever I did.